That's it down there, covering 160 acres with over 4 million square feet of floor space. Big? Well, it takes 21 miles of railroad track and five miles of roadway just to handle its transportation requirements. It's Alice Chalmers West Alice Works, where engineering in action is at work on your future today. The manufacturing operation is complete from foundry to final assembly, from molten metal to finished products for both farm and industry. Its foundries have melted and poured up to 80,000 tons of metal in a single year. And in the Ford shop, parts for crushers, and steam and hydraulic turbines are heated, rough formed and shaped in a giant 2,500 ton hydraulic press. Really a big operation, isn't it? Oh, it sure is. You almost have to see it to believe it. Smaller parts are volume produced on 8,000 pound steam drop hammers. Oh, incidentally, this happens to be a part for a tractor, uh, probably the hub for a D-series tractor. In the shops, banks of automatic equipment, volume produced parts of uniformly high quality at lowest possible cost. The modern way, the Alice Chalmers way. Vertical boring mills as large as 40 feet, machine giant casting, and hydraulic turbine runners for installation in hydroelectric generator plants are welded on this largest welding positioning table in the Western Hemisphere. Upwards of 25,000 power tools are used in producing such company specialties as this giant turbine generator unit for steam power plant use. In fact, many items of basic equipment used by the electric utilities, transformers, circuit breakers, substations, bear the well-known diamond trademark. You see, Martha, this company isn't such a stranger to you after all. Their equipment helps supply the power that lights your home. And runs a television set, too. You wouldn't think of that. Well, I must admit, I had no idea about all these things. Oh, this is interesting. At TVA's Hiawassee Dam in Tennessee, an Alice Chalmers built and installed reversible pump turbine does double duty, changing water power to electricity by day and electricity back to stored water power at night. Oh, I know what that is. Argonne National Laboratory. That's right, son. America's first nuclear power plant where electricity is now being produced from nuclear fuel. Alice Chalmers engineers work closely with the staff at Argonne, developing necessary equipment. Our science teacher told us about that. The reactor is underwater. Uh-huh. It says, in this atomic furnace, water boils right next to fissioning uranium, absorbing its intense heat, and steam flows directly to a turbine generator unit. The latter along with other essential equipment, was specially designed and built by Alice Chalmers. And then there are the process industries, flour milling companies, for example. Alice Chalmers has been supplying them with needed equipment for over 110 years. Its first product was Burr Millstones for milling grain. And I've been told about nine out of 10 loaves of bread are made with flour processed with Alice Chalmers equipment. Now, material in any form, from gold to grain, from asbestos to iron ore, is grist for their broad line of processing machinery. This is their ACL system, used in a new process for making cement. And in this hospital... Don't tell me they make hospitals, too. No, not that I know of, Martha, but they do make this engine-powered generator on standby duty here to keep vital hospital equipment operating in case of electrical power failure. Boy, that would be a rough spot to have your power cut out on you. That's right. Operating by candlelight wouldn't be much fun. Yeah, especially for the patient. Now, uh, let's see here. Industry applications include engine power to operate this oil field drilling rig. Engine power that goes to sea aboard workboats like this as well as pleasure boats. 
and engine power that turns to muscle power when it's applied to the quick and efficient lifting, shifting, and handling of materials by Alice Chalmers' forklift trucks. They help to speed up all manufacturing operations. In tall timber country, this crawler tractor has what it takes to lug the big sticks out of the wood. While for any and all earth-moving operations, there is a product of the construction machinery division, specifically designed to do the job. You've probably heard about the new Air Force Academy near Colorado Springs, where this fleet of heavy-duty construction machines had to literally chew its way through the foothills of the Colorado Rockies and on an almost round-the-clock crash schedule. Alice Chalmers makes that equipment, too? Yes, sir, they surely do. And here's another fleet of their big tractors and motor scrapers at work on the Northern Illinois toll road. Loading, hauling, spreading, leveling. Doing whatever the job of building a modern superhighway calls for. And doing it faster and better than ever before. All of which, I guess, begins to add up to what they mean by engineering in action. Think what improved construction equipment means to all of us just in connection with carrying out the federal highway program. The 41,000 mile network of key thoroughfares connecting the nation's largest cities. And equipment, not only for building the new roads, but maintaining the old ones, including the farm to market road. It's about time you did something for us farmers. <laughs> Okay, but why stop there? Let's give him a hand with his irrigation problem, too. Notice what brand of engine power is pumping the water to those thirsty...